This is Dr. B. Let's balance this equation here. We have iron plus copper 2 sulfate. Yeah, it's copper plus iron 3 sulfate. So let's write down the atoms we have on each side of the equation. On the reactants, we have iron. We have one of those. Copper, we have one copper. And I'm going to consider the sulfate to be one item because I have a sulfate here and then this sulfate over here. And that'll really simplify what we need to do. So SO4, I have one of the SO4s, the sulfates, on this side here. On the product side, Fe, I have two of those. I have one copper. And then the SO4 the sulfate, I have three of those. So the equation's not balanced. Let's start by fixing the sulfates because the iron, that's going to be easy. We just need to put whatever coefficient in front to balance the irons out. Let's do the sulfates though. We have three here, so we need to put a three here. So we have the one sulfate times the three. That means we have three sulfates. Those are balanced. We need to update the copper though, because the coefficient three applies to the copper. So one times three, that gives us three coppers. Over here, we could fix that by putting a three in front of this copper and then the one times the three. So the coppers are balanced. And then we have two irons here, one iron here. Let's just put a two in front. So one times two, that equals two. And this equation is balanced. We have the same numbers on each side. The trick here really is to take this sulfate, when you see a sulfate on both sides, SO4, and treat that as just one item. That really simplifies things and it makes these equations usually fairly straightforward. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Fe plus CuSO4 yields Cu plus Fe2SO4 3. And thanks for watching.